We are many months away from the launch of the 2020 iPhones, which are expected in September 2020. But there are already multiple rumors about the upcoming devices. We are expecting the 2020 iPhones to be called the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. If Apple follows the same naming scheme it used for the 2019 iPhone lineup. So, what will the next iPhone is bringing? Is Apple going to give us truly new iPhone instead of an incremental upgrade? The good news is that, in the build-up to the iPhone 11 launch, we heard lots of rumors and leaks of a much altered iPhone. These include the possibility of a 5G iPhone model, new cameras, a new design, a supercharged screen. If all of those rumors were referring instead to the iPhone 12, it could prove to be the big upgrade we are hoping and waiting for. So guys, in this video, we have mixed together all the latest leaks and updates on the new iPhone 12 and added in some thoughts on what we are expecting. Based on well over a decade of monitoring the growing rumor mill around the latest iPhone. So make sure you guys watch this entire video to know everything about the upcoming iPhone 12. Let's begin with specifications. First thing first. Display has always been the first thing which an user sees in a phone. The new iPhone 12's display could support a welcome improvement over the screens on many current smartphones. According to Apple's analyst Ming Chi Kuo, the iPhone 12 Pro Max could have a 6.7 inch screen and the iPhone 12 Pro could have a 5.45 inch screen. He adds that the standard iPhone 12 will apparently stay at 6.1 inches but will get upgraded from LCD to OLED. That's a claim we have heard more than once and would mean all three 2020 iPhones would have an OLED screen. A tweet from Leaker Ice Universe claims that Apple is considering whether to let next year's iPhones switch between a 60Hz and 120Hz refresh rate, much like every new Galaxy S20 model can. This rumor received more weight in October 2019. When Digitimes reported that the iPhone 20 will have the same 120Hz refresh rate as the iPad Pro, offering an iPhone with a 120Hz refresh rate would mean a smoother scrolling display than anything we have currently seen from many rival devices, especially if Apple can offer the feature by default. Rumors suggest TSMC will manufacture the 5 nanometer chips and Apple will use in its 2020 iPhone lineup. The 5 nanometer process will produce chips that are smaller, faster, and more battery efficient due to improved thermal management. TSMC will begin producing A14 processors for the 2020 iPhones in the second quarter of the year. Moving on to RAM, Barkis analyst Blaine Curtis believes. The iPhone 12 Pro models will feature 6GB RAM, while the iPhone 12 will have 4GB RAM. Apple made major changes to the rear camera system in the 2019 iPhone lineup with the new triple lens setup of the iPhone 11 Pro and 2020 may bring even more camera improvements. Rumor suggests some of the new iPhone models coming in 2020 will feature a 3D camera, which sounds like the LiDAR scanner feature that Apple added in the 2020 iPad Pro models. The LiDAR scanner in the iPad Pro uses reflected light to measure the distance from the sensor to surrounding objects that are up to 5 meters away, which is equivalent to 16.4 feet. It works indoors and outdoors and is essentially able to map the environment around you at the photon level at nanosecond speeds. So far, rumors indicate the two higher-end iPhones coming in 2020 will use the new time-of-flight rear camera, so it may not be available in the lower-end iPhones that are going to have a lower price tag. The high-end 6.7-inch iPhone in 2020 is rumored to be getting sensor shift image stabilization technology which could potentially bring image stabilization to the ultra-wide angles on those devices. Sensor shift technology allows the optical image stabilization to be applied to the camera sensor rather than the individual lenses. As with the 2019 iPhone lineup, the 2020 iPhones are expected to have different camera technology. UBS analysts believe Apple is working on high-end 6.7 
and 6.1 inch iPhone with the triple lens cameras, while lower end 5.4 and 6.1 inch iPhones could feature dual lens cameras. As of now, there are no rumors regarding the battery size of the upcoming iPhone series, but it is said that iPhones coming in 2020 could have small gains in battery capacity as Apple suppliers are working on a custom battery protection module that is 50% smaller and thinner than the same component in previous iPhones that could free up valuable space in the iPhone. Speaking of 5G, a report from Nikki says that all iPhone 12 models will ship with 5G networking capability, which means you would not have to necessarily to step up to an iPhone 12 Pro Max to enjoy faster downloads. Reportedly, Apple will work with Qualcomm and Samsung to supply its 2020 iPhones with modems from both companies that can connect to 5G networks built on both MM Wave and Sub 6 GHz Spectrum. Apple has given its iPhone its proprietary lighting port since the iPhone 5. However, times are changing. The newest generation of iPad Pro uses USB-C as just basically every other portable device manufacturer in the world right now. But more important than, this is the influence of the European Union. The European Union has voted to make manufacturers use USB-C in order to increase consumer convenience and decrease waste. Apple has objected to this ruling, but it isn't going to have much of a choice but to comply. Whether this law will go into force before the iPhone 12's design is finalized isn't certain, but it could be possible that the iPhone 12 will use USB-C as a result. The iPhone 11 starts at the fairly affordable $699 in the US and 64,999 rupees in India, while the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max cost $999 and $1,099 respectively. The wildcard is how much 5G support will add to the price of the new iPhone 12. Most 5G capable phones arriving last year are priced at a premium compared to the conventional models. The Galaxy S10 5G, for example, starts at $1,299, $300 more than the already priced Galaxy S10 plus the Galaxy Note, $1,299, which is $200 more than the standard Note 10 Plus. Apple analyst Ming Chi Kuo strikes a positive tone about the pricing for the iPhone 12, saying, Apple will not significantly increase the price of 5G iPhones compared to this year's lineup. He estimates between a $30 and $100 pump depending on the specific version. The iPhone 11 lineup debuted at an Apple press event on September 10 last year. So, it stands to reason that the new iPhone 12 would follow in September 2020. So, if Apple is able to stay on track and the phone comes out on the second Tuesday of the month, we could be looking at iPhone 12 release date of September 8. However, because of the virus which we all know, Nikki Asian Review reports that the iPhone 12 may be delayed by months and the iPhone 12 could even slip to 2021 in a worst case scenario. This is because the virus has not only impacted Apple's production schedule but also customer demand. So guys, this was our detailed talk on the upcoming Apple iPhone series. I hope you guys have got everything you are looking for. If yes, then smash the like button. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment it down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Gadgets Friendly channel, Gadgets Times.